Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to add a reflection to your 3D objects, 3D figures, etc. I use it a lot in my tutorials, so I figured I'd make an official tutorial for it. But anyway, so I'm just going to quickly create like a little, like a, a mini tower, just so I could show you guys an example of how to use it. Okay, so really quickly, I made this little thing. I don't know what to really call it. It's like part of a tower, I guess. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the preset of this. Okay, so since I made this little structure out of text, I'm just going to go back to the text and I'm going to favorite the style. Um, just name it bars, I guess. Um... I don't know why it does that but basically this is just going to save the exact settings that like the text has because we're going to basically replicate this but with different colors you'll see later so i'm going to do the same thing for layer one layer three is a copy of layer one so i'm just going to save i'm just going to favorite the text from layer one so circle there just like that So if you used text layers to construct your thing, then make sure to favorite the styles of the text. Um, if you're using a lot of layers for your thing, I suggest like keeping it in your notes or something like saying which layer is which. So like layer one is the circle, layer two is the picture, etc. Um, and lastly, of course, just save the preset like I did earlier and then just create. Now we're going to go back to multi-layer press 3D. And I'm basically going to import everything again. So for layer one, I had the circle. So I'm just going to import that same thing. And I'm going to copy it onto layer three. For layer two, I had the picture. So I'm going to put that. And then for layer four, I had the bar. So I'm just going to type that. And apply the settings here. And I'm going to import my preset just like that so i have it exactly the same this time though we're going to change the colors of everything so usually what i do is i change let's say for layer two obviously we're not going to want to add a reflection to this so i'm going to change it to green whatever i don't want to add a reflection to i change it to blue sometimes i'll be extra and have like two different types of reflections so i'll give an example of that so let's say for layer one i'm gonna change these colors to blue just like that and let's copy layer one and then for layer four i'm gonna change it to red So I've changed the color of everything I want a reflection on. If you don't want to be extra, you can just change it all to one color. For example, just change it to blue. Um, I have two different colors here so I can add two different reflections. Um, you'll see what I mean later. So let's create this. Okay, so the next step is to go on Google and just search up white environment map and just save any of these really. Once you've chosen one, just go back to Video Star and go to Multi-Layer. For Layer 1, just import the environment map that you saved. For Layer 2, we're going to import the new, like, this thing that we created. And I'm going to mask out the blue. Then for Layer 1, I'm just going to rotate it like this and size it up like that. And I forgot to add movement to my thing, but assuming that there was movement to this, what I would usually do is I go into layer one and I would kind of mimic the movement of the tower. So let's say that the tower was moving down, right? So I would also move the reflection map down as well. And I would also add the same graph that I used for the movement. And now I have something like this. So yeah, mine looks a little weird because I forgot to add movement to mine, but that's what I would usually do. Just mimic the movement of your object with the reflection map. So I'm going to save that. Okay, so if you did the same thing as me and you decided to have two different reflections, we're just going to go back to multi-layer. 
I'm importing a different one this time so that it doesn't blend in with the other reflection. And then for layer two, just add the newest clip that you made and then mask out the other color, that. So now I'm just doing the same thing as I did with the first reflection. I'm just rotating it and sizing it up so that I can mimic the movement, assuming that there was movement. So now mine looks like this and I'm gonna save that. Finally, to add the reflection to the original thing, just go back to multi-layer. For the first layer, just have, you know, like your original clip. For the second layer, add the clip with all the reflections. Add mask and mask out the green. Just like that, and then we're gonna press blend background. And then you can play with any of these, just find which one you like. I usually use this one and sometimes I'll turn down the opacity, just like that, if it's a little too dark, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow my Instagram at Virgo Yoon's, the link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.